Hello, I'm Bob Scott. I'm a candidate for U.S. Representative from the 2nd Congressional District in Tennessee. The 2nd District comprises Knox County, Blount County, Loudoun County, Monroe County, McMinn County, and part of Sevier County. When I went to get a nominating petition and explained to the clerk what I wanted, the light dawned and she said, oh, John Duncan's seat. And well, she might. But John Duncan and his father before him have held that seat for almost 40 years. When I uh, was talking, eating lunch at Sandendale with my mother and some of her friends, the subject came up that I was running for Congress. One of the little ladies said, I won't vote for you. I love Jimmy Duncan. Another one said, I'll vote for you. The first one said, the second, don't you like Jimmy Duncan? The second one said, no. He's been there too long and he doesn't have any new ideas. Those two little ladies pretty much summarized my campaign. Everybody in the country thinks that other people's representatives, yes representatives, are pretty bad, but they all think theirs is great. And the reason for that is that U.S. representatives don't want to be in office just a couple of terms, like the Republicans suggested a couple of years ago, but instead they use the offices of the, of the power of the United States government to get themselves reelected over and over again. But the other thing is, our representative does not have, doesn't have new ideas, and we desperately need new ideas in our country to overcome some of the problems that we have now. My idea is to run against a almost unbeatable opponent, or presumably unbeatable opponent, uh, with two million dollars ready to spend, by taking advantage of the good sense and fairness of people, the voters, if they think about what they're doing. So I would appreciate if you would give me an opportunity to explain my positions. Look at bobscottforcongress.com website, bobscottforcongress.com. I would appreciate your giving me an honest and thoughtful uh, consideration for this office.